What's going on guys? This is Fast Derek here in the Everett 328 Production Studios for Moto number 17 of the Moto Ohio Show here on May 12, 2020. Um, we are here in the studio. Things are starting to open up here in Ohio and we have Grip It, Rip It, Kevin Ott joining us back in the studios. What's hey! Okay. <laughs> What's going on, together. buddy? Glad to be back in the studio, hi, buddy. Honey. Hi, hey, Derek, how you doing, guys? Hello, Good. everyone. I see that uh, a few things are getting changed around, so we're going to see how it goes for a, a little test run here. Yeah, um, haven't been in the studio for... Yeah, my God, everything looks so nice. Uh, it's been about two months since... You did since great, you, sir. Two months or so since, yeah. you, or, uh, since you've been in the studio here. So Absolutely. Got, click the buttons and do what I got to do to get back in with the background music, and yeah, there we go. I um, want to thank you guys for joining us for Moto number 17 of the Moto Ohio Show, brought to you by the folks at the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders and a &Y Performance for helping us out for the past few weeks and the foreseeable future. Um, huge shout out to those guys, as well as many, many more for helping us out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, give us a like, drop us a comment live here in the studios. We have a ton of things to talk about this week for the show. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, there has been a few things announced since uh, the last week. Um, not so much, not so many announcements as for not the- Not so much set in stone news, but- Right. Um, also, not so much uh, Supercross and Pro Motocross news, right. but and really not so many um, Loretta's announcements either. Uh, there has been a couple of Buckeye Series announcements and um, Ohio Motocross Association announcements since last week about uh, races coming up very very soon. So we're going to touch on that in just a couple of minutes. Um, just getting some things you know squared away here in the studio. I haven't had Kevin back in here, so I'm getting um. It is man, my dials different. turned and. I almost feel lightweight nervous. You know what I mean? Because I haven't been here I'm in a while. I'm nervous every know. time I sit here in the studio. Every I single week, I, I, it's the same feeling I get when I'm sitting yeah. there behind the gate. So That's um, true. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for, for joining us here in Facebook Live Land. Uh, we have a few things we want to talk about. Um, but first, let's kind of just recap on a couple of things from from weeks past. Uh, as for the Loretta Lynn's announcements, at this point in time, we are still leaning on that option C. Option C being, let me scroll down to where it is. Um, Free for all. Pretty much. Um, the amateur motocross uh, is said to be the option C format, which is the super regional format, as they have announced during, or um, Tim Cotter made that announcement um, earlier in the year. There was a plan A, B, C, and D, and maybe even a hypothetical plan E for Loretta Lynn's for 2020 for the Amateur National Championship. And at this point in time, we are leaning on that option C, which is the super regional format, a regional, a super regional for the youth riders, a super regional for the amateur riders, and a super regional for the vet riders as well. So I, I said it a while ago, it would be an absolute blast format style race, but I also said I didn't. I feel like there's going to be 800 riders in one class. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm serious. Like, I think that could probably happen at Red Bud. There's going to be so You're gonna have 800, many people there. Uh, 50 senior riders. There's going to be so many people there, and, and who knows where these... Uh, How do you deal with that at all? Like, let's just go realistic and say there's 250, and you have 30 motos of that. What are you going to do? I mean, what are you, you going to stay there for a month? Realistically, you're going to have uh, a, two qualifiers for each class, and you're going to have, what, I have like 36 Loretta's classes, something like that, broken down. You're going to have roughly 12 classes per Super Regional. So if you have 60 signups per class, 12 classes, that's still going to be a really long weekend. Dude, that's 720, like, riders and races and stuff Boom. to do and that's it's a, just like that's, that's a, a lot man that's, that's a lot manageable but it's that's a typical that's a little bit higher than a typical than number that. for a qualifier 60, 60 riders in one class you're you're there's no way i've seen that I, i've seen that almost turn up for just a qualifier and let alone the c classes that that get the two C qualifiers class, right or C two classes, classes in the minis then 50 riders are coming from everywhere yeah you're going to usually have two groups it's of not like, c or 50 riders that have to qualify to a qualifier See, race. And the thing about it is so they're it, hitting these things right now where the stimulus money's hitting. Everyone can make it. Everyone can go. You know what I mean? Everyone's getting a check here and a check there. Dude, they'll all be there. Everyone will be there. You watch. You know <laughs> it. You watch, man. Everyone will end up showing up to some sort of super regional saying, hey, you know, this might be my year. You know, and it's just going to be... Whew. I still think there's going to be that asterisk next to their name where... 
Loretta Lynn's Amateur National T Championship 2020 has been a, a, a caveat year because of COVID, just because of that whole. I think so too. I don't thing. know. I do not wish to see it be like completely canceled. For I don't either. Season. But I don't want to see people either. get kind of like shortchanged because I remember I went and I did everything and I made it to Loretta Lynn's and it was awesome. It was it was really a different. It's a, it's, it's a different motocross whole event, you know what I mean? Like the when you're down there and it just feels like, you know what I mean, like uh, you're invited to that place, you know, so it's just a whole different feel. See, we're not going to dwell on, you know, opinions of that. If you guys want to listen to my opinions on Loretta Lynn's 2020 and the process leading up to it, just listen to some of the previous motos. But we're just going to stick to what's going on um, here, you know, as of recently. And at this point in time, we are leaning on that option C, kicking off uh, Super Regionals the weekend of June 6th and 7th and uh, wrapping those up the weekend of 4th of July. So we have about a month there to get the Super Regionals in, about four weekends. It's going to be a pretty uh, action-packed month. If that is yeah. what's going on absolutely and at this point in time they're opening up uh restaurants here in ohio they're opening up some businesses here in ohio Belden village mall set to open a couple other places right the so, dogs are ready to open up <laughs> <laughs> so um that's why we brought that's why kevin came back in here for the show this week is everything's opening up we're opening up uh, he's going to be back with us forever now so thanks kevin for coming back in make sure you guys you know do it. hit that like button drop us a comment and subscribe. that's what it takes guys that's what it takes um, and also share the show i want to thank you guys for uh, taking your time out of your evenings um for that so at this point in time loretta lynn's uh amateur motocross option fingers c crossed. fingers crossed we're gonna fingers make it crossed, happen man. um yeah we're not gonna stick on it we're not gonna go with opinions on this show we're just gonna go with what's going on at this point in time, the pro motocross schedule remains under revision, and this is straight from the MX Sports website. Um, they're hoping to open up the pro motocross schedule on that 4th of July weekend whenever the Super Regionals <laughs> would be wrapping up. So, whoo, imagine that just first pro race. Race, at, race, 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 the whole way, the rest of the way through the year. There be places trying to race on Wednesday nights again, you know, or like Friday night races would be happening. Bring back Broken Spokes Friday night races. Broken Spokes Friday night or Wayne County Speedway Friday night races was sweet. Pima yeah. Tuning always had Friday night races. I race Pima Tuning Friday night, Saturday night at Mount, Mount Vernon, and another race Sunday on Sunday. Sunday Sunday. That'd be a sweet time. I mean, you could race a, uh, a Sunday Buckeye Series race. Race we could just. I go from you know. Let's what I mean? race I go our way CRA, across Ohio this year. Right, CRA to like an outlaw track to District Twelve, all in the same weekend. Air high five, Kevin. We're gonna race our way across Ohio, starting at yeah up there at um Pima Tuning. Pima Tuning, because that's kind of Pennsylvania, but it's the top of Ohio. Yep. We'll call that right. We're gonna race Malvern on the next Saturday night. Sweet. And now we're gonna race a Buckeye Series race on Sunday. Yeah, like chili coffee or something. We'll Somewhere be down, we'll be down at East Fork or something. Something. Yeah, yeah that'd be perfect. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a weekend. We gotta have some oil, some oil changes, <laughs> some race gas. We're gonna have. Uh, I need it's... help. <laughs> I should ride my dirt bike first. <laughs> I um, want to thank our sponsors, the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders, AOI yes, Performance, absolutely. Smooth Speed MX. Huge thanks to Corey Schaefer Knocker. If you guys need your wheels built, we'll touch on that a little <laughs> bit more in a little bit. Uh, Schaefer Knocker is Smooth Speed MX. Thank you for helping us out. Bob and Patty Harrington, Pro Action Northern Ohio, Action Extreme Sports, uh, Flow Vision Goggles, uh, Tar Designs, and Defiance Lifestyles for helping us out. I want to thank our sponsors a, a ton for helping us out because without those guys, you know, we'd be uh, not having the show. So they're making it happen. So also want to thank all you guys for taking the time out of the evening. Uh, about time to get back to riding. Uh, that's right, Reed, uh, Justin Sever, Brap. Um, yeah, we're all seems one about Brap. Right. That seems about right. Yeah. Um, this. Uh, so we touched on amateurs. We touched on pro motocross. Let us make some announcements about this past weekend. There was a race. Did you know that? No. There was not. It wasn't in Ohio. It was in North Carolina. Oh yeah, I seen. I seen a few people go to it. Uh, it looked like the Lahood boy went. Yep. Stuff. He had some good results there. East and, Bend. Uh, a couple other guys. You know, me had went. I think there was a few races that went on down south. East Bend MX is um, is where it was. So. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I do want to. Yeah, right there. Zach took two first place wins in North Carolina last week. Straight from Danny LaHood, Zach LaHood's dad. That is awesome. An Ohio boy coming from right here in Northeast Ohio, making the trip down there to that North Carolina great. and, you know, cleaning house. Well, see, I feel, a I feel by next field. weekend, next weekend we'll stacked have a few field. things happening around here too. So then we can kind of get back to racing. But great job for you, young also, man. I mean, that's awesome. Our, uh, Full gate is no joke. There was somebody in that class could ride. Awesome, awesome moto dad Steve Lung went down there and his boy raced as well. And I just want to read directly from him. He he messaged me directly with a very concise 
review of the East Bend race this past weekend. So nice. I do want to uh, I do want to read this just just pretty much word for word, straight, coming straight from Steve. He just uh, wanted to um, mention that he took his son down there to East Bend MX for their uh, race this past weekend. They had over 500 riders, no spectators. They only had people that were allowed in the vehicle, in the premises. So riders and direct rider personnel personnel were allowed in um, in the facility. Wow. Okay. They so that's, that's cool. They, I, I think they practice social distancing. You had to leave a car length between you and the neighboring vehicle or trailer. They had lines painted six feet apart everywhere that people would congregate, such as sign up in the concession areas. And I'm sure for the riders meeting, they had like little taped off areas, six foot dots that you can stand in these areas for safety. Right. So that is awesome that they had those things all taken care of. Uh, they also had restrooms that were open with tons of soap and water for you guys to wash your hands. Um, they went to the staging area with only one rider, one mechanic, just to absolutely limit the people down there in staging. It looks so weird. And you had, since you couldn't practice the social distancing down there in staging, you were uh, required to wear a mask or some sort of face covering when you were down there in uh, in the staging area. Yes, um, Everything went off without a hitch. They had nothing negative to say, except for they didn't bring any spectators in. But, you know, for a successful weekend down there racing in North Carolina, that is awesome. So practicing social cool. distancing, getting the correct um, OKs from your government and local, local government. So... Um, congratulations to the folks down there at East Bend MX. Uh, 500 riders for just an amateur race on a Saturday night. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> That's cool. Well, it's because everyone is searching for gate drops. Everybody's I mean, wanting those gate they drops. Just, they need it because it's so past due because it's been, like, it's 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 time to kick it off in Ohio and we haven't yet. We have not. Um, <sighs> I'm not We're dealing in the with middle this of May. Well. I'm not dealing with it. Yeah, it snowed on me two days ago, too. That was terrible. I know. I snowed like a couple days ago. Saturday well, morning. Monday, I believe it snowed. Well, that was different. I'm at work just Monday and it was spitting snow. I was like, man. So Saturday morning, it was, it was uh, snow it covered. The snow covered everywhere. Yeah. Pretty much from, you know, Newcomer's Town north in, in Ohio. It was pretty snowy. When that's on a delay and I see it moving, oh, it's like crazy. the arms moving around up there and I can catch it in my peripheral vision, I'm like, Man, I don't even want to look up. I don't there, even pay I want to see what to I'm it. doing. What am I doing? I'm like, oh man, what am I ever doing up there? Well, just Who how knows? about let let me just cover us up? How about oh, that? that? And I hate seeing my facial expressions because I'm a fruit loop. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I can't, I can't watch. cover us up. It won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anyways, all right. But that uh, was that's great job to you guys <clears throat> down there at East Bend, you know, and great job for East Bend, you know, for letting that go down and. uh that's awesome that things are open up. That's kind of close to home. Yeah. So we yeah, should be it's getting, not that that's bad. I mean, have hope and, and positive. And man, my, my, like, my brother in law was like, right. You know what I mean? Like he said June 1st. Remember back in the day? That's, <laughs> that's, that's when I. What a rodent, man. He's terrible. I, I, I um, was I'm in a bathroom in my mom's house uh, for Mother's Day. And uh, I was, he helped me. And, and it was just, ugh. I just looked at it every time. I'm like, you were so right, and I hate you for it. You know what I mean? You postponed us. He what, jinxed us. What did I say? I said the first of June. Yeah, you said the first of June. You jinxed us. <laughs> I wasn't trying to jinx it. This we got just... practice tracks open, though, now, so that's fun. Yeah, they are slowly opening up. Yep. We're not mentioning any places that are opening up because I have been uh, I've been notified for by quite a few people that, um, you know, just hold off on mentioning anything about any tracks that are open. If you are invited by a promoter, Awesome. Oh yeah, no, I, I understand but that. But if That's... you are invited by a promoter, don't post on social media that you were anywhere. Just keep that to yourself. I know that you want to share with all your friends and share with your sponsors that you're riding somewhere, but at this point in time, if you're sharing a track, people are gonna contact that track and be like, Can I come ride? Can I come ride? Can I come hey hey hey, can I come ride? Yeah, I mean can I, I come ride? will. It's bad enough if you post pictures because then I even know where you're at. So you <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, that's where he's at. Oh, that's where he's at. And that's yep. where he's at. That's where she's at. You know. So I mean, it's just it is what it is. But I, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind. That is the uh, that's the best advice I can give you is if you are invited by a promoter or invited by a racetrack or invited somewhere to go and ride, just keep that between you and in the media people around you. Don't really spread that too awful far because you're gonna ruin it for everybody. The word's gonna get out and it's gonna come get shut down. It's happened. Oh, for sure. It would. It would. I it's mean, happened. And but I think I think now with the way that things are going, you know, and how how it's kind of turning, you know, I I think. 
I mean, I, I wouldn't say. I, I think next weekend things will be opened up. Aren't they having practice at eSports? They like, are. Like normal? And Sometimes. 62, don't he have like 10 riders at a time come out? Um, Or something? What no I comment. Have? Okay, well that's. I mean, that's it's it's all over the internet, dude. What do you mean? Just, it ain't like I was there. I ain't got a dirt bike. I'm it's, not. That's why. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, it's, I'm it's not. I'm not. It's over to, with. Everyone should just get over it. That's how about let's do that. You know at mean? this point, everyone start moving on. You know I know mean? Like, we, like, we, like, we, we need to move, move on. on. Well, like quit, quit like beating around the bush. Like oh, I don't know. Or, I don't know this. Like well, shit, I, let's go. Let's let's all gang up and go. You know what I mean? Like Dewine leaves the golf course is open, but we can't ride a dirt bike outside. Oh, I know. How are you supposed to make a living if you're a professional motor? Like Jeremy Hand, how's he supposed to ride right now? That's his that's his lifestyle. I'm allowed to go to work. Private pra- you private practice work. tracks. You can go to work. He ain't allowed to go to work though. You know what I mean? That's what I get upset about. Because it's outside, so I think it should just be open. Oh, I don't disagree with you. Yeah, I absolutely just, don't disagree with you. No, that just makes and then, then, but, then but then the golf courses and then everybody's like, Well, I'll go tear those up. Well that don't make it no better. The track's so closed. I can't hit no motors on the golf course, but I don't know, that's just yeah, he, I, I just, I just follow, I just follow people on Facebook. I'm like, okay, well, that's going on here and that's going on there. But I, I've been notified by some of the promoters to not say anything on the internet about some race, some pla- some places being open or not. So I've mentioned some ra- some racetracks being open on the show, and then come to find out that same weekend they had the pu- had the plug pulled on them. So oh, as much sure. as much as I want to spread the word about places opening up, I have to bite my tongue. At this point in time, as much as I do, as much as I don't want to, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. I know, I'm spreading the word. I know, <laughs> yeah, you know I know. I mean? But so until I, I get do, the then. absolute okay to spread the word about you know places, particular places opening up, we just all have to you know mind what we say so we don't ruin it. I'm for, not good with that. I know. You're telling you're making me lie now. I don't no. want to do that. I know my wife's not good with that either. <laughs> I can't do it, dude. I'm just not. I'm just like, nope. I can't do that. So. That's all. I mean, that's a don't put me in that position. You know what I mean? But that's. A, I'm just like. Shh. I think we should all just. If we have to wear masks and stuff, I think that's going to come to because I don't think it'll ever go back to 100 percent normal. Oh no! Like people are always going to be skeptical. They're now. not just going to snap your fingers, turn let the switch. Let it be and going on. You're going to do the riders meeting somewhere, right? And it's going to be like all of us in out there. Let one person cough. Everyone's going to work out. <laughs> oh, let me be in there. I'm going to hold the fingers. I'm like, oh my god, he got the Rona. You know, it's going to be funny, but. It's a shame for the people that, that, that you know what I mean, that got affected by it, but, like, I have, I've, I, I have yet to see it. Like, I've yet to even know anyone has got it. You? I've you heard that it? it's been through here early in Correct. January. Correct. I heard that it was here and it was there and this person had it and they came in contact with it, but I'm like, man, what's it? I'm always tired. I work a lot, I think. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> you should, like, you know, because, like, at work, she takes my temperature, you know? I'm <laughs> putting Hair dryer on my forehead one morning, going and measure like 115 degrees or something. <laughs> you should have roached out a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel about it, though. That's so terrible. Oh, oh. man, it's it's the coronavirus is is just it, it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've been here for 35 years. I'd take a blizzard or something over this, you know, or something like that. But I got hickory here. Um, just get back. <laughs> Just getting back to a couple of things here in the show. Um, you know, it's not really our topic of focus, but the GNCC, the Ooh. Grand National Cross Country Series, they are kicking off their season this weekend ah. down in Georgia. So that is pretty cool. So, so we're moving forward. We're moving forward, yes, a little bit. Okay, thanks, Steve. Uh, I guess East Bend did not have a riders meeting, so thanks for clearing that up. I'm, you know. I wonder I just if you could do. You could probably just do a writers' meeting over via, the microphone. Over the microphone, exactly. You know, I mean, even if, been there, done that. You know, you know, and and usually like that probably track probably had FM transmitted. I bet. I bet. I wonder if I wonder if they were on the radio. You know, sometimes probably. they're on the radio. You know what I mean? So if you're in the back, you can just turn your radio on your truck and listen to everything that you yep. say. All right. So good uh, stuff. Let's just move it. Moving forward, at this point in time, they are still planning on the Supercross. Um, schedule being the you know condensed uh, condensed that format. Gonna weird? That's just gonna be weird, isn't it? It's gonna be very weird. I heard it's gonna be sometime at the end of May through early June, and it's gonna be on Friday nights and Monday nights. Pretty much races built for TV. 
So the super cross is going to be kind of crazy. Um, maybe they'll fill the stands like they do for some what, of these. What a test! What a test baseball for games. The riders, man. You know what I mean? What a test for those guys to go back and forth and be ready and on call. And where are you going to practice on Saturday and Sunday? Or are you just not going to practice on Saturday and Sunday? Or Aren't you going to be racing a national? Like, isn't it right around that time? It's going to be just before the Nationals kick off. Okay. So just before the Nationals you know I mean? kick like, off. I mean, you should probably practice some ruts and some bumps. <laughs> There's <laughs> a know? lot of stuff to practice. Yeah. Uh, so at this point in time, that is what they're planning on doing for the Supercross. Uh, until something changes, they're planning on doing a Friday night, Monday night, races built for TV. Uh, racing out in Glendale, Arizona is the plan. Um, maybe they'll fill the stands with cardboard cutouts like they do at some of these baseball games over there in Taiwan. Could be. That's amazing. They take cardboard sponsors, take cardboard cutouts, they sell the cardboard cutouts to spectators that have their faces plastered on the cardboard cutouts and then put in the stands. Now. <laughs> yeah. So look, invented. Look, so invented. Look at I these. Mean, I see this. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh, that's all just cardboard people. Cardboard people. Holy shit. What? <laughs> they got masks on. They're cardboard. <laughs> what do you mean? This is on the motocross uh, action post from May 6, 2020. How to fill the stands of a Supercross stadium without no worrying more, about man. COVID-19. I can't do it anymore. Just imagine little Monster Energy people. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh too much. <laughs> too much and the Lucas man. Oil Popcorn Boy. Yes. Oh my gosh. It would be so funny. They would... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I, I didn't know what you had up over there. I thought that was just people in the stands. I'm like, okay, whatever. Nope. Well, I don't know why he's got a baseball game up over there. I'm like, it's whatever. It's cardboard cutouts. I'm like, it's cardboard cutouts. Now that I look, they're all got the same shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny, isn't it? So maybe that's how we'll get uh, spectators no in the stands of the far. Supercross races. I will post the link of this motocross action article in, this, in the description <laughs> of the main posting later on. Uh, when the show is posted so uh, just to get you guys an idea of what we're laughing at um oh dude i'm losing it still and like <laughs> inside I, it I, is pretty funny but you you've had it up for a while you know and i'm like what, what is he doing with that <laughs> why has he got that it's like i just fill the stands like these baseball games and i'm like looking over and i'm like oh and then you realize it now it's pretty funny <laughs> yeah that's that's i'm such uh oh. All right, let me get back to my web pages here on the laptop. Oh, if you guys did not join us for Moto number 16 of the Moto Ohio show, mm. I came home from work, hit the power button on the desktop computer donated by one of my uh, good friends, and I hit the power button, and then I hit it again, Boom. and then I hit it again, and again, and again, and again, and nothing happened. So the, the computer itself died out. So we are back to square one with laptop. the original laptop that I have everything plugged into every orifice on this laptop to get the webcam, the TV going. And like I said last week in the show, if anybody has a secondhand uh, desktop computer, a secondhand gaming computer, we are, need of, we are in need of one here in the Everett 328 Production Studios. I've got all the rest of the equipment. It's just that tower. Just that bloody tower took a I dump on me last week. I gotta stop watching myself up here too. I just, <laughs> just stop watching. I'm watching you talk. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh man. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna be hitting on that in just a second. Um, but yeah, at this point in time, if anybody has a desktop computer, uh, we kind of need one here in the studio. Sweet. Um, yeah, we're really uh, nice. yeah. working on a very, very shoestring, wait, let's, uh, floss. We're working on a floss budget for the Moto Ohio show. Uh, yeah, because there's nothing going on. <laughs> there's not, there's nothing going on and our sponsors are very, very generous to us. Um, uh, yeah, it seems like we're not putting their name out there at all right now. You know, like I want to, I, I got graphics coming for the bike, but no place to race it. Right. Oh, yeah. So we're, just, we're working on a shoestring, not even a shoestring, we're working on a floss budget uh, here floss. for the studios. Um, so if anybody has a desktop computer they want to donate, or if anybody wants to invest in a desktop computer for the Moto Ohio show, uh, just get a hold of me. Um, but just some, some more updates that have been going on. There has been a couple of. Uh, new rules set in place for the 21 season. Okay. I just wanted to touch on this. There's a couple of new rules for the Pro Motocross oh, sweet. Uh, season. At this point in time, for the 2021 Pro Motocross season, coming straight from the... Um, this is coming from Motocross Action article as well. Let me just uh, take a second and get on the Everett 328 Productions page here so I don't miss anything that's going on for the show. If anybody comments in, 
Uh, anybody commenting in that you need? To uh, we just got some people watching. You know, a few, uh, just a few, few little things here that he did, this and that. Okay. All right. So, um, Carl Schlacht. Carl oh, Schlacht. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's Schlott. watching. Yeah, I see him. He's got an awesome up, track. So, uh, I'll, you never know. He put down some laps. Back. Sean, I got everything. It, just the only thing that went bad on me is that tower. Um, Ohio Vintage Day, Vintage Day is going on. That'll be pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind going out there to Mid Ohio for the Vintage Days coming up very soon. That'd be that'd be pretty fun. I don't know if I have anything scheduled for that weekend or not. So I will. Uh, I'll definitely check my schedule and see what's going on, Carl. Um, but you know, just getting back to what I was just talking about, uh, there are five new rules for the 21 Pro Motocross season. At this point in time, you That's must, sweet. or coming in the 21 season, uh, a rider wanting to participate in that 450 class must be 18 years old. You've, okay. You've got to be 18 years old to race that 450. Hey, Reba. Yeah. Um, also, if you want to race a 450, you must have proof of a high school diploma or equivalency degree. What or why you, these you, rules are coming up now? You must be, or you must be actively enrolled in a high school graduate program to race a 450, but you still have to be 18 years old. So there's a couple of new rules for the 450 class. You'd have to be passing that as well. Correct. You know what I mean? Like you'd have to be like Correct. successfully taking this course. Correct. Um, there is also still a, uh, they've changed their substance uh, testing and ineligibility period. Uh, okay. It says a maximum period of ineligibility of two years for violations which involve a non-specified substance or prohibited method and a maximum period of ineligibility of one year for violations which involve a specified substance. Penalties for violations of any MXS anti-doping policy other than those for non-specified and specified substance or for multiple violations may exceed two years. MXS shall at its sole discretion determine the effective date of suspension. So no word on the three strike clause. So that's coming straight from the motocross action website. Correct. Um, so they have changed their procedures and stuff like that. But if you were to read down in that same rule, it also says MX Sports Pro Racing reserves the right in its sole discretion to accept entries of the riders who do not meet the above criteria. So they're just saying, if you're fast enough and you're 16 years old, you can race. We'll let you race. You can race. And you, and, but that's and, and, how it goes because here's what's going on. You were just a bad kids, kid. Well they're, well, they're not even going to school. They don't have to. They ride a dirt bike so well. You know what I mean? Like they but just that one stopped. I got homeschooled my last two years of high school because, I mean, I was never home, man. I was always traveling and always racing. I was gone. F and S Suzuki had me everywhere. So that was, I was just on the move. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was... I was 16 years old, dude. Here's one I don't I don't necessarily disagree with. Um, riders must present a clean and neat appearance. Costumes, as determined by MX Sports Pro Racing, and its sole discretion are prohibited. So you can't look like a clown going out there on purpose. You're not allowed to dress up like a goofball and go race. I guess. That's good. I mean, you're trying to represent the better of the sport, so I understand yeah. that. But you're still wanting yeah, to have some fun, old. so... I mean, wonder if you wear a suit. Do you remember, you remember the guy that worked for War Rorks? He'd come and ride in a suit uh, in Malvern back in the day on uh, Saturday nights. Yeah, yeah, a whole tuxedo with a bow tie. I do remember that. Dude, he <laughs> would ride the whole race like that. He'd just stroll around and never take his helmet or nothing off and just have that stuff all on. That's pretty funny. It was. He had his nose um, spray painted on his back. They have made some helmet camera policies. Oh. Um, they have some on-track race footage that is for riders' development, mechanical uh, purposes. Um, if you want to use that for social media, it is limited to the rider and registered team only. So nobody outside of the rider or the registered team of the can rider share that. can share that uh, media footage that. or claim it as their own or something like that. Mm. Or you can't um, maybe necessarily uh, like some of our photographer friends that have GoPros and I'll slap it on your helmet in an open A moto, I don't think that that kind of thing is allowed anymore. Probably not. So I, I hey, go give me some footage out here because you're like mid pack and it would be a sweet thing. Yeah, you can't do that. And if you, if the riders do, if the pro riders do post to their social media, this is again just for pro riders, just for the licensed pro professional, ride, professional riders. Correct. This isn't for any Joe Schmo racing a Loretta Lynn's qualifier on the weekends. This it doesn't is, matter about anything. You do whatever you want. Right. This is just we're just spe solely speaking for the pro riders. 
Um, if a rider was to post on their social media, it can't last any longer than 60 seconds. So there is a cap. Out, <laughs> there's a cap on how long you can post on your social media platform. About my riding. About your riding. Yeah, I get it. That's kind of a silly rule. Uh, there's a lot. And right there, am, and no yeah. commercial use for the helmet cam, so that's just what I Do was saying. Do I need yeah. to say it or you want to say it? You just want to go back to what Jason Anderson said? You know what I mean? Like AMA or FM, you know, they just suck it. You know what I mean? Like, they just suck it. You know what I mean? They're they just always coming up with something. But here's the thing. When they come up with the rule about the under 18 and the school thing, who's running right now that's so young? There's a few riders that are pretty pretty young. Pretty young? Yeah. Uh, I think Derek Drake's pretty young. He is young. Yeah, he was just a Loretta's. Um, but Hammond's still down. I want to say that in the, in Jet. The, I want to say Jet's pretty young. I'll Jet say Jet's like 17. Young, and so is Shimoda. I think Joe Joe's pretty just young come too. up too, but they're all on 250s. Maybe they're trying to ask if they can ride a 450 or so. Maybe they rode one. I'm not sure. It seems, it seems like something's up for them to do that. Um, do you want to take a quick commercial break and thank the thank you the, the folks at the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders, the OMPR Facebook group, helping us out for the 2020 season here for the Moto Ohio Show and Everett 328 Productions. Um, Sean Lowe down there, the Pit Bike Doctor from the pit Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders, uh, hooked us up with uh, Pitster Pro FSE 110R that we're using, abusing, and putting to the test and letting you guys know all of its faults. And at this point in time, I've put about nine hours on that thing. And a hard nine hours. It's been a hard nine hours the ruts in the yard shit and i've been riding at 14. a couple of a couple of good friends uh private facilities all by myself because i you know i was literally out there all by myself and i would just been hammering laps out on that thing you know doing good oil changes cleaning the air filter doing everything you need to do i've been hammering motos on that pitster pro and it has held up to the abuse it is a solid solid platform cool. So, if you guys want a uh, new pit bike for the 2020 season, hit up Sean Lowe down there at the uh, the Pit Bike Doctor down there in Newark, Ohio, uh, head member of the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders. Definitely get a hold of him. Also, want to give a huge shout out to Sierra Yoho down there at AOI Performance for helping us out. She is offering the $300 bike prep special. She will take your bike down to the frame, uh, take the engine apart, clean everything, assemble it, change the oil, clean your air filter, make sure that bike is absolutely perfect. For when you guys line up for your gate drop, uh, Kevin's bike is down there getting the uh, getting the you race know, one two right now. It's getting the race treatment right now. So huge thanks to the folks at AOI Performance. Absolutely. And if you guys Thanks mention, here. don't Thank if you, you know about this, if you guys mention the Moto Ohio show, she is knocking the price down off that bike prep special to only two fifty. Oh, there you saving go. fifty Not bucks bad. by just that's, mentioning that's the Moto a good Ohio 50 show. Bucks to save. So huge thanks to the folks down there at AOI Performance. As I mentioned earlier, huge uh, shout out to the folks at Smooth Speed MX, Corey Schaefer, Knocker, Wheel Builder Extraordinaire. You can um, build you send anything over there and he'll get it. He can build you a work of art. He can change tires. He can fix flats. He can do just about anything. So Smooth Speed MX, uh, right here in Canton, Ohio. If you guys have any wheel building needs, any wheel needs, period, get a hold of Smooth Speed MX, Corey Schaefer, Knocker. Um, Thanks again for helping us out for the 2020 season. I also want to give a huge shout out to Bob Harrington and Pro Action Northern Ohio for giving us a, giving us a huge hand for the 2020 season. Um, he can revalve your forks, respring your forks, race set up your forks. He can do flat track setups, wood setups, moto setups. He can do everything. He's got it. He, he definitely can get some suspension dialed in correctly to for you to win some races. Absolutely. So, I have. I did. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold it over this year. I want to go racing. I got some. That's where it always ends. That's my period for everything. I just want to go racing. I just want to go racing too. Yeah. So huge shout out to Bob and Patty Thanks, Harrington Bob. from Pro Action Northern Ohio for helping us out. I also want to give a huge shout out to Action Extreme Sports, the folks down there at AES in New Philadelphia, Ohio. Um, your KTM dealer and aftermarket parts specialists uh, are there to get you guys back out there on the racetrack. So thank you to the folks at Action Extreme Sports for helping us out. Um, they've been a personal sponsor of mine for 15 a lot years. Of years. A lot of years. 15 years or so, and they've been in business for 22. So I've been. I'd be hanging out down there if I rode some KTMs. I'm hanging out there down there and I ride Yamahas. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, I mean, if you guys need any parts, Kawasaki parts, Honda parts, Suzuki parts, KTM parts, Husqvarna parts, Husaberg parts? What am it's I missing? There. Yamaha parts? I missed anything? 
Hey, if you need parts, if you need parts Suzuki? for Did bikes, see, I didn't see it here. A Z, a Z, a Suzuki. If you, there need, you go. if you need parts for bikes, because Tanner's down. watching, so maybe he wants a Suzuki <laughs> part. <laughs> come down to AES in New Philly. Um, also, want to give a huge shout out to Flow Vision Company for helping us out. Redefine your vision, create your own flow with a set of Flow Vision goggles or sunglasses. Get a hold of me, um, your Ohio Flow Vision representative. Kevin is a proponent of the Flow Vision goggles. Love. He also loves this uh, Flow Vision sunglasses. And um, yep. We don't kneel when we're Flow Vision fans. So get a hold of me if you have anything that you want from the Flow Vision website. I pretty much have everything in stock. So get a hold of me for all of your Flow Vision needs. And thanks again, Nick McBride and the whole Flow crew from out there in California. I also want to give a huge shout out to Tar Designs for helping us out. We have a couple of sets of um, Moto Ohio Show graphics kind of in the getting works. worked yep. up from the folks down there at That's Tar Designs. Sweet, if you guys need banners, stickers, graphics, t-shirts, if hoodies, you anything. wraps, Just hoodies, up. if you need anything, get a hold of Tar Designs down there in Zanesville, Ohio. He can wrap up your life. So definitely get a hold of the folks down there at Tar Designs. Also, want to give a huge shout out to Defiance Lifestyles, Rob Barmgart, bringing back that 5 for 19 t-shirt special. Uh, five random t-shirts in your size for only $19 by logging on to the Defiance Lifestyles website. And they are also having that Everett 328, boom, discount code to save 25% off your Defiance Lifestyles purchase at checkout. So definitely use the discount code Everett328. And thanks again to all of our sponsors for helping us out and making the Moto Ohio show possible. For sure, for sure. I, we really do There's appreciate it. There's a whole it. list of them there. You're doing good. <laughs> We're getting there. This has been a pretty uh, pretty checkmark show as of this point. Um, We're getting there. It's, it's, We're there. It starts with stress and it goes down. Um, but at this point in time, there's only a couple of more things to wrap up on. Um, and as I mentioned earlier in the show, there has been a couple announcements for local Ohio motocross. And I have them right here in front of us. I do have some announcements from the Ohio Motocross Association as well as the Buckeye Series MX. It is right there on their Facebook pages. So that is kind of how I found this information out. Um, the race for this weekend, the Ohio Motocross Association's race for this weekend at Amherst Meadowlarks, the club up there in Amherst, Ohio, for... May 16th and 17th has been canceled with no rescheduled date. Also, COCR Motocross, the Buckeye Series, uh, round two of the Buckeye Series has also been canceled with no date of rescheduled at this point in time for this weekend, May 16th and 17th. So big bummer there. Um, hopefully some of these tracks here in Ohio and hopefully the governor's taking a, um, taking a lesson from East Bend down there in North Carolina to see how you can have a race during the COVID crisis so we can actually get back to the racetrack sometime soon. I mean, it, I, I feel it needs to happen for everyone. For everyone. I'm losing it. Yep. So hopefully um, some of these racetracks around here can yeah. take uh, some advice from East Bend down there in North Carolina and implement some of their practices and show the state and show the local um, health departments that they are, you know, abiding by the rules and we can have a successful events on the week, a successful events on the weekend. So, um, you know, let's say things are looking, looking forward, looking up in the future. I'll right. I mean, even though these few races have got canceled this weekend, I feel like this will be our weekend. Kind of get your stuff ready next weekend. Maybe things will start popping off. I'm, I'm, Boom. I'm, open, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing that's, my fingers on that too. That is my, that is my, uh, we, my futuristic vision. Were we on the air when we said, uh, June 1st? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we, we said it earlier in the show or earlier in the season June of first, we're gonna June 1st, racing. we're going to be shooting for then. Um, at this point in time, COCR this weekend, that would leave the Malvern battle the next to last weekend of the month, the May Boy, uh, it comes 23rd, back 24th. And it goes on that first. Woo! That'll be a weekend. I don't even want to know. Imagine being the season opener. Like Vet 30 having like like 30 people. That'd be serious. 31. You get in there? Uh, you know. Okay, I dig it. So. Mr. Utz is coming too. I hey, Steve. They're almost ready down there at Battlesburg MX. So I know. That thing looks true. Sweet. Steve has been, been putting they the time in. They've been by it the other day just taking an eyeball. First peeps were on it, dude. Chase has been nice. down there. Chase yeah. down there with Cantonese Excavating has been putting the time and effort in. Not only Chase has, but Steve has been down there every day, every weekend, in the skid steer, in the dozer, spinning it's wrenches, great, getting everything all ready for this year. So, um, practice track of all practice tracks, I believe this year is going to be Battlesburg. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be Berg. So, There's a booter in the back. That looks, oh it's boy. huge. Dude. It's, it's a, massive. It's a buck. It's a 100 footer. It's over 100. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool as ever. It's a floater, though. It's yeah, a I safe. Like it. It's a safe 100. I'm dropping. I'm jumping over the bar. You got to. <laughs> hey, safe There's for only... me. Not safe for me no more. 
<laughs> okay, um, I haven't heard anything yet, Steve, but I would imagine that probably as well. So we'll we'll just we'll just see whenever the announcements um get made. So we'll go from there. Uh, so we have touched on what's going on this weekend. We've touched on Loretta's Pro Motocross, Supercross, um, Loretta's. We've touched on everything. We're doing good. We have one more thing to talk about. What's that? You know the first rule about Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight Club. You don't talk about you don't talk about Fight Club. So what are we doing here? So we're not we gonna say, to talk about Fight Club. We're not gonna say a whole lot about Fight Club. I like just talking real fast like that too. It's kind of fun. <laughs> um, I miss Derek. This is a good job. It started two hours and ten minutes ago on the Fight app at an undisclosed racetrack. Nobody knows where this racetrack is. So. So what's going on? We have. Kevin Windham, Travis Pastrana, Brock Glover, Ivan Tedesco, Jake Weimer, Ryan Sipes, Jeff Stanton, Damon Bradshaw, Michael Lessey, and Ryan Villapoto all coming together to race a bracket-style head-to-head race at an undisclosed racetrack tonight, starting two hours and ten minutes ago on the Fight app. So as soon as you guys are done with the Moto Ohio show, head over to the Fight app. Um, I believe it is a it is a pay-per-view event. It's $19.95 for the pay-per-view. It's unlimited watches, unlimited rewinds, all that jazz. So sweet. Log on to the Fight app, pay your $19.95 to watch the Moto Fight Club. They had a round table um, discussion last night. Um, you know, you know, just doing some bench racing. Damon Bradshaw's gonna be tough. Dude. It's gonna be tough everywhere. He's tough. Um, I'm telling you right now, he still rides good. I seen him in Pleasure Valley for a ride day. Is this still laying laps out on the pro pro practice out there. Uh, We've seen Sipes. Sipes getting, can do it all. Getting that 250 SX looking mint. Jeff Stanton has that CR250 prime. It's not good. Oh, it's good. So there's going to be some so chaos crazy to see coming up guys, tonight. You know? um, also, they have a staged race set up there at the bottom. The Alessi Villapoto shootout coming off. they've as, been going at it for been, so long. And forever. Yeah. Forever. So... That's so gonna sweet. be pretty cool. So as soon as you guys get on that 125 for this, I bet. Uh, you know, Pastrana brought the RMZilla. He brought the 500 out. Did he? Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Steve. Um, I'm just okay. checking out um, a I post believe... from Steve real quick. Uh, it looks like the race da, 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 da. battle round will be rescheduled. Okay. So thanks for that information, Steve. I'm just, um, we'll just keep that on the DL. It's probably going to not happen in a couple of weeks, but we'll hope for some more racing. Maybe uh, a non-battle race. Yeah. I just want to race in Malvern. I just want to race. I need a Saturday night race in Malvern. I just want to race. All right, so we are pretty much uh, pretty much wrapping up with the show here for Moto number 17 of the Moto Ohio show here on May 12th, 2020. This uh, Moto Fight Club is going to be pretty cool. That, that's what I just said. That's, that's cool, man. It's going to be a neat little thing, and that's some, that's some unique, that's a unique Set of riders. Yeah, it's kind I of. I heard some of their names in a while. It's kind of the the Jake best. Jake Weimer. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, or you just always wonder when them. K Dub Weimer can shred. K Dub, you got my name. There's Kevin a bunch Kev. of. And, and you see K Dub's going out there and. He does a beast. He's going out there in full Forrest Gump gear. Is he? He looks just like Forrest. Yes, he does. I love him so much. Oh, it's Kevin so Winter funny. Kevin was one of my most favorite riders of all time. Wish I could find the post I love right Kevin now. Winter. He was my number 14 hero. Let me see if I can find him. Um, uh, I mean, I'm a Kawasaki guy. Boom. Through through. Right there he is. Yes, That's dude. K-Dub. Oh, he looks so cool. He pulls it off so well. <laughs> Check out the Moto Fight Club uh, Instagram page at Moto F-I-T-E-K-L-U-B and check out the Kevin Windham post. Looks just like Forrest Gump. Dude, I was just like him. That's perfect. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so who knows Sean what's going to... Sean got on him already. Looks about right. Who knows what's going to happen. So at this Mr. point in time, Farmer. the first rule about Fight Club, we don't talk about Fight Club. We just talked about who is in Fight Club. We don't know where Fight Club is. We really don't. I really want to find out, though. If I'm I was going to be driving by some track. And there goes a number two Yamaha zooming by me. You know what I mean? And I'm a 260, turning. 264 KTM after that, I'd be like, hey, we're going to have to turn around here for a second. Hold on. Like, that would be instant turnaround. I'd know those bikes in a minute. And yeah, we don't know where it is, so. I don't. I'm going to look for it. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna watch the video and, and get the brain yeah, rolling. Because it's someplace back tucked in. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's got to track. Be. Dude, I wonder if they could revive Spokes' top track. It's not. It's not any of these places. It just spokes is top track. 
was pretty sweet. It was sweet, man. It was one of the coolest little tracks off, I've A little heard. off topic here. Um, I got into racing just after Broken Spoke started racing down at the bottom track strictly. So I never got to I experience... Never the top track. I never got to race the top track. I never got to... I practiced on a couple Brock. times. I went over to Sellers and David. Okay. And Hill. Yeah, we would go up there and just hit that big jump in the middle because it got all ring right out and it was destroyed. But the big triple in the middle up there was still there, dude. Okay. It was, <laughs> I practiced Hello. there at the practice at the Seriously. top track a couple of times, and it was it was motocross heaven because it yeah. was just kind of just. Awesome. I love the whoops. The whoops were awesome. Whoops I blew up my first bike there. Nice. I had a 2003 YZ125 a that I. Spectator tabletop was everyone's fave. It was big. Yeah, Chuck Fatty's off of it. Big, good pancake whips off that thing for the spectators that are right there. They were right there on the hill. Remember Cena Highlands? Seeing Highlands, I, I qualified for the Reddits to go there. As I won my, I won my qualifier, Scenic, they sent me a red bud. I got fourth place there. And Scenic was awesome. Scenic was the best track ever. My track was the best track ever, but... Whoa. There's so many good tracks here in Northern Ohio. They still, they're still around. There's still a bunch of great tracks, and, and um, they're, bringing back, they're bringing back a couple of these tracks, so... Smokes are so much fun on Friday night. Let's let's do let's do the let's do the three peat for a weekend. Sometime. We're going to we're going to triple it up. We're going to pine tuning Malvern, uh, maybe maybe Malvern slash Route sixty two, just depending on where that race no, how how the time. race is going to line up. I think we can do it though. It'd be, we're going to stay night at the racetrack, and we can handle that too. It's going to be staying the night at a couple racetracks. A couple racetracks. <laughs> yeah. So I want to thank you guys so much for for joining us uh, for Moto Number Seventeen of the Moto Ohio Show. Thanks for joining in. Thank you to the Ohio MX Pit Bike Riders, AY Performance, Smooth Speed MX Pro Action Northern Ohio, Action Extreme Sports, Flow Vision Company, Tar Designs, and Defiance Lifestyles for helping us out. Thank you, Kevin, for coming you, Derek. for coming back for the show. I'm glad you're back, man. Me too, man. I, I really, I really like. I told you, you know what I mean, just the other day. You know what I mean? I was missing it and stuff, and just trying to get back to let's just try to get back to normal as normal as normal can be and, and hope everything to to us follow you know what I mean to just right. follow follow track yep so um at this point in time um that's all I, I got that's all I got I don't have any indication on any tracks that are open this weekend and even if I did I really I don't know I I, I would I, I don't know my opinion on how to announce that at this point in time because I want places to have people coming in and the promoters making some money but I don't want to see the sheriffs coming in and pulling the plug on it because I have heard of that at some places. And we'll I, just let them keep doing how they're doing and don't they can want post it to themselves. If they want to post it, they'll post it. If we'll they leave don't, it at that. That's what I'm saying. We'll yeah. leave it at that. And until things start racing again, then we'll start talking about where places are open. So I want to do my I want to do my uh, due diligence on doing things right. So you're yeah. good. You're doing the best you can. Thanks, buddy. That's it. Wrapping things up, Moto number 17 of the Moto Ohio Show. Thank you guys for joining in. That's all we've got. Boom, boom. The log out. Thank you.